I'm Donna Miller with Miller Crafts. I'm going to show you how to use the advanced features when uploading an image in Cricut Design Space. So I hope that you like this video and that you click and subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of future videos. Once you're in Cricut Design Space, you'll need to go to the left side panel where it says upload and click that. Then click browse and scroll through all your files until you find the image that you want uploaded. On the next screen, I always pick complex, no matter what my image looks like, and then I hit continue. I've read in some Facebook groups, they say that if you zoom in and use the magic wand, that that would not give you any holes or gaps in your images that you're trying to upload. But as you can clearly see, that does not work. And the problem is, is that Toad's hat and the background are both white and the computer cannot distinguish between the different layers of white. So you want to go to advanced options and we're going to change the color tolerance. So if I change it to 50 and then apply the magic wand, you can see that his hat got worse. If I up that to even 100, then the hat is even worse still. So I'm going the wrong way with the numbers. I don't want to go higher, I want to go lower. So since the number started at 16, I'm going to drop it down to 2. And then you can see I have his hat in all of its entirety, which is exactly what I want. And then you can use the eraser tool. And if you want to, you can erase the logo at the bottom if all you want to do is cut out Toad. So that is very useful. Then I like to use the hide preview and look and see if there's any kind of jagged edges on my image. And I like to clear up any jagged edges with my eraser tool. Then once you have your image cleaned up, then you hit the continue button and don't skip the tags. This is how you will find your images in Cricut Design Space. So put in as many keywords that you can think of that reminds you of your image. And once you have all those keywords in, then you want to hit the save button. And that will save your image in Cricut Design Space so you can find it later on. Then you can click on your uploaded image and hit insert image to bring it into Cricut Design Space so that you can resize your image or do anything that you want with it. So I hope this video helped you today and that you click and subscribe. Please hit the bell button to get notified of future videos. Thank you.